Okay, because of several people pointing out to me that there is a style of elevator that I haven't explored yet called the Piston Zipper, I decided to take a look into them. And looking at the links on YouTube, a lot of people's main complaint was that they're not bi-directional, which I decided to take a crack at it, and there's actually a rather simple fix for it. And this is my proof of concept for it, where it goes from bedrock to sky limit. And I will demonstrate that it is in fact bi-directional with the button. It looks like I'm falling quite fast. I've tested this off survival and it is actually perfectly safe. You won't be damaged at all by it. Okay, the button just creates a wave that sends me up and then back down. But I also have these two levers which are hooked to an XNOR latch which that just, or XNOR gate, my apologies, which that sends me up, and if I flip the lever up top, it'll send me back down. And the reason why I'm showing this with the levers is to demonstrate the delay that's caused by the height of the tower. And here we'll see that there is actually quite a delay. The delay, in fact, is equal exactly to the height that it takes the tower to come up. Which, that is just a sacrifice that you have to make in order to achieve the bi-directional functionality. Which, on any shorter elevators, it will not be nearly as long. Okay. And as for how the bidirectional functionality is achieved, it's just a standard model for the piston zipper style. Which have the two repeaters going to, or to power both the pistons. But what's unique about my setup is that the inputs for the pistons are split onto these two branches. On the rear branch is the transmission up, where each of the repeaters causes a delay for it to go up to the next level. Which, as you can see, it just follows a simple repeating pattern. But then when it gets to the top, it comes over to this branch where it transmits the signal back down. And the reason why this has to occur at the top is so that when you attempt to go down, it won't just drop you all the way to the down, or all the way to the ground right away. It'll slowly lower you in the correct order. Which, as you can see, the side also follows a pattern. And now I'll show you how to build it. I'm not sure who first created this style. The model that I based mine off of was created by Minecraft.net, but I actually didn't like some of the things that he did. For example, he used unnecessary repeaters. Which, that's just the basic level, which will show you the proof of concept for it. Okay, because we start on this side, this piston has to raise. This one doesn't have to be a piston, it can be anything. Then this side has to raise second. So we place one repeater behind it, set to three ticks. Then a wool block here. 
with a repeater behind it sent to one tick. The point of the wool block is that it transmits the redstone to the blocks directly above, below, and to the sides of it. Which as you can see when the repeater's not next to it, it won't be powered or it won't power the piston. But once the piston is moved up next to the wool block, it will be powered by the repeater. And on this side we do the exact same thing. And because we don't want these to cross, just cover it. And just to show that it works. But see, now we have the problem where both of these go up at the same time. Which I can be fixed with a simple repeater here. Which I found three ticks usually works. And there we go, it's as simple as that. Now as for the branching concept to transition it up. To go up is actually quite simple. You have your redstone here. Then you just come one block out, place a repeater. And because it's transmitting it into this opaque block, it will transmit it directly up into that redstone which these repeaters determine how fast you actually move up so I set this to four pistons just so it gives you time to get up and out of the way of the other piston before it pushes you off and you can repeat this indefinitely. But for here I'm just going to show you with the six pistons I have. Okay, and these repeaters here are just to prevent the power from backfeeding. Okay, let's see if it moves up properly. Uh, oh, there we are. Forgot to set the little eye on these. Okay, and you'll see it'll also retract from the bottom. Which, if you're trying to come back down, that end up just retracting all of them and dropping you. Which is not at all what we want. Which is why we will do this. For the downward transmission, I find it far easier to start from the top. Which you're going to use the same concept. You're going to have a repeater going into an opaque block, and it's going to activate the block below it. which these repeaters should also be set to 4 just to avoid falling fast enough to actually hurt you. And these will also follow a repeating pattern. dark, let me just sleep so everybody can still see.
Okay, and just like going up, this pattern can be repeated for as long as you want. Okay, that's not going to do anything quite yet because it's not hooked up to the input at all. Which, because we want it to activate all the way up first and then start extending them from the top down, which I can actually just show you what it does if you activate just this side. You can see it activates from the top down and then starts retracting at the top. Which, because we don't want it to start extending at the top while you're on the middle of the elevator, we have to make sure you're already at the top. Which simple connection up top will do it. Okay, now if this has been wired right, it should extend properly from the bottom up and then retract from the top down. Okay, that part worked correctly. And there we go. Overall, I like this style because it's fast and you can go up as far as you want, but installing multiple floors on it is going to be a pain. But they're actually a lot more compact than I expected them to be. Um, and hopefully this will give you in some insight into how they work. They're actually a lot simpler than I expected them to be as well. And it'll send you on your way into making your own bi-directional piston zipper. Well, good luck.